Welcome back to Wake Up With Hope, friends. Thank you for being here this morning. It's now time for a devotional thought. This morning, it will be brought to us by Pastor Mark Finley. Proverbs shoots an arrow from the Lord's quiver directly into the target of our hearts. When you read Proverbs, you are moved by its straightforward teaching and its wise counsel. Here in Proverbs 20, verse 23, Solomon gives us an appeal to honesty. He says, diverse weights are an abomination to the Lord and a false balance is not good. What's that talking about? Well, let's go back to the Middle East again. Let's suppose that I'm going to buy a very precious spice, but I need to, but the seller of that spice will need to weigh it out. So you have these balance scales. He puts weights on one side. Let's suppose he puts 12 ounces on this side. Then he's supposed to put 12 ounces of spice on this side so they're even. But what if the weights on this side are not 12 ounces, but what if they're 10 ounces? But he tells me they're 12. So he saves on the precious spice two ounces each time to make a profit. So the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 20, diverse weights are an abomination to the Lord. A false balance is not good. Proverbs appeals for honesty and integrity in all that we do. The story of Joe, Captain Joseph Bates is the story of a man that had a, amazing honesty, amazing integrity. God longs for us to live with integrity, longs for us to live with honesty. Um, Joseph Bates had sold on one occasion quite a, a lengthy, quite a bit of cargo down in the Caribbean when he was traveling in the Caribbean. And he, he sold this cargo to a tribal chief there. Bates left in the boat to travel back home and he recognized that the tribal chief had overpaid him. Bates had spent many, many years in the sea as a sea captain. So what was he to do? He recognizes that he's been overpaid. He's sailing away. This is in the 19th century. And he decides to turn the boat back, to go the boat around, to go back to pay this man's uh, fee back to him. And the chief is just amazed. This is why Joseph Bates established so many positive relationships every place he went. Because Joseph Bates, one of the early Seventh-day Adventist leaders, was a man of integrity. He was a man of honesty. He was a man that paid debts on his ships. He paid his crew a uh, just wage. On one occasion, Joseph Bates had a dream, and he dreamed that God wanted him to go to Battle Creek, Michigan. John F. Loughborough, another Adventist pioneer, tells the account. He says that Joseph Bates has this strong impression from a dream. It prompts him to change his travel plans and uh, to go to Battle Creek in 1852. Now, there were no known Adventists that were going to live there. So Joseph Bates comes to inquire of the postmaster. As he comes to the postmaster, he says to the postmaster, who is the most honest man in the, this town, the man that has most integrity? The postmaster says to Joseph Bates, well, I can tell you the man. It's uh, David Hewitt. And so Joseph Bates goes to the home of David Hewitt early in the morning, knocks on the door. Mr. Hewitt. Yes, I understand that you are the most honest man in town. Hewitt says, well, some people might say that. And he said, I have something I want to share with you. Can I come into your home and study the Bible? So they study together. And uh, they study on the Bible Sabbath. Bates had accepted the Sabbath. And the Hewitts accepted after one day of Bible study. They study the prophecies of Daniel, the prophecies of Revelation. And Hewitt invites his neighbors to come in. And uh, this small band of believers found at that place uh, in Battle Creek began to meet in Hewitt's home 
and it was there in 1853 that two more founders of the Adventist Church, James and Ellen White, along with Loughborough, meet with these believers in their first visit to Battle Creek. Uh, the arrival of these workers just thrilled, just absolutely thrilled this, these new early Adventists there. But what was it that caused Joseph Bates to go looking for David Hewitt? It was Bates' own honesty. It was Bates' own integrity. It was the fact that Joseph Bates was a man of character, and he wanted to find somebody else that was a person of character that he could witness to. This idea of honesty, this idea of integrity, this idea of character is found here in the book of Proverbs where it says, diverse weights are an abomination to the Lord, a false balance is not good. In other words, live a life of honesty, live a life of integrity, live a life in which your character is the most important thing in your life. You know, my father taught me this from a very, very young age. One day, Dad and I were walking home from church. By this time, I was about 17. I had become a Seventh-day Adventist. And as we were walking home from church that particular day, it was a fall day in New England where I lived, was born and brought up in the state of Connecticut. The leaves had fallen off the tree, so quite a few leaves on the sidewalk. And Dad kicked a few leaves, and he saw an envelope there. Now, we didn't have a lot of money in those days at all. And Dad saw that envelope. He picked it up, and as he looked at that envelope, there was maybe $150 or $160 in, in cash in the envelope. Dad looked, and he knew immediately what had happened. On Friday, in our town, in the mills, we had a mill town. On Friday in those towns, people got paid. And Dad knew somebody had gotten paid. No name on the envelope at all. No way of identifying it. And I'm looking at this money, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 90, 100 dollars, 110, 20, 30, 150 dollars. And I knew that dad was working a couple jobs. I knew that we didn't have much money. And I thought, man, this is wonderful. And dad looks at me and said, you know, Mark, somebody lost this money. And um, I know that they're going to be really sad. We've got to find that person. So dad goes down to the police station. He said, look, I found this envelope filled with money. And uh, ours was a very close town, a small community. And he said, I'm going to leave this envelope here. Dad left it there. And then we discovered that the person found that they had lost the money. They went to the police and the police gave them back the money. But here's the end of that story. Years later, 30 years later, I'm the speaker of It Is Written Television. People see my name, Mark Finley, and they say, wait a minute. There was a Finley that the police said turned in this money. We didn't know where he lived. They wouldn't give us his address because it was confidential. I wonder if this Mark Finley has anything to do with this James Finley who turned in the money. And so I get a, we get a call at It Is Written Television. 30 years later, Pastor Mark, we're watching you on television. And was it your father that turned in the money? Indeed it was. And I think of Psalm 66, verse 2 and 3. Sing out honor to the name of God. This couple had a deeper relationship with Jesus because they made that linkage of what Dad did those years before. Honesty, integrity makes a major difference. Walk into your day today determined by the grace of God to live an integrity life, a life filled with integrity.